my work placement with Access Your Life. Um, just so you know, I have got Tourette's, so if I am being <laughs> ticking throughout the video, that's why. Hi, my name's Lauren Perry. I'm a second year English language and linguistics student, and I'm studying media and practice. Access Your Life was set up by Lauren and Felix and their assistant's dog, Fliss. Why I chose to work for Access Your Life. So the reason I chose to do my placement with Access Your Life was I currently run a blog and Instagram page talking about life with invisible disabilities as a university student. Previous experience writing guest blog posts for them um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I wanted to get involved more if I could. I chose my placement myself which was definitely really beneficial in helping me access work with a disability. Um, I think if I worked for a different company who didn't have as much understanding of chronic illness and disability it might have been a little bit more difficult for me to communicate my needs and when I needed a break. Um, working with Lauren and Felix was great because the schedule was really flexible. An example would be when I was taking part in a virtual disability show, um, it was two pretty full on days um, online um, and for that reason Felix get, then gave me the next week off to recover. If I was working with another company that might not have been so feasible. I thought that doing my placement with Access Your Life would help me with potential job opportunities, help me grow my blog and help me network with other businesses. As well as this, I'm really passionate about what they stand for as a company. I took on roles and responsibilities that were outside of my comfort zone. I made lots of contributions to Access Your Life's website, including blog posts and reviews. During my time with Access Your Life, I took on the exciting opportunities that included product reviews. I had a couple of products sent out to me, very kindly gifted by companies, uh, which I had to review on behalf of Access Your Life and follow their script and guidelines. During my time of Access Your Life, we struggled slightly with communication via WhatsApp and email. Um, for that reason, I suggested we create a joint Google Doc, which both myself, Lauren, Felix, and one of the volunteers could all edit from. I'm the sort of person who loves a list, so I decided to make a little timeline of a schedule of events for Lauren and I. We did this in a shared Google Drive and also created a shared photo album. I gave us all a little colour code, which I think worked really well for us to all work collaboratively on a blog post. During my time with Access Your Life, I helped coordinate a giveaway. I created graphics on Canva to advertise each individual prize of the giveaway. I then went on to share these in stories as I wanted to boost engagement with Facebook Analytics. I took part in a virtual event called Nadex, which was really beneficial towards helping me with my degree in the current end of module event. Taking part in Nadex Disability Show was amazing in boosting my confidence as well as experiencing life as an exhi exhibitor of the disability show and a customer viewing the show. Throughout the event, I was able to interact with companies and the members of the public who were interested in disability gadgets and encourage them to book meetings with Access Your Life. I actually managed to drive a lot more business towards them and potential new clients. The Nadex virtual online event was amazing. The system they used was so high tech and I found it really cool to be able to see it from an insider's point of view, but also the customer. Um, there were sections such as the sessions and lobby and also had an amazing accessibility tab to help people with disabilities be able to access the show just like anybody else. Part of the virtual platform was live events um, online similarly to how we are doing. Um, we basically were able to go on and see a pre-recorded presentation. Throughout my placement, I spent a lot of time creating Instagram posts. Here are a few examples. Sending over templates to Lauren and Felix, we discussed that they wanted each individual post to have a different personality. 
In one of my first meetings, Felix showed me how to use Facebook Business Suite so I could see the analytics to see whether they had any growth from the time of me spending with them. Facebook Business Suite took a little bit of getting used to, but as you can see, I managed to improve their engagement by over 100%, which is absolutely amazing. Facebook Business Suite was really cool because you could see all the posts that were currently at the top of their whole post history. Most of the posts on there were actually my posts, which was amazing. Work. Access Your Life work very closely with a company called NI Cozy who have designed an amazing wheelchair blanket. As part of my placement with Access Your Life I got gifted a wheelchair blanket and I have posts, two blog posts as well as regular Instagram posts about once or twice a week um, with me with my Nicosi in different places. During my time at Access Your Life, I also took on the responsibility of helping to run the NI Cozy Wheelchair Blanket social media pages. Initially, I was apprehensive with what to post, but after, as the weeks went on, I got a lot more creative and to gear my posts for around a variety of topics. Going forward, I would now feel confident running a social media page for a company. I love taking on the task of going out and about with my NI Cozy really enjoyed getting creative with how I was taking the photos. I had the opportunity to explore the Instagram Reel feature. Here are some of the things I came up with. So you want to go onto Google and type in Access Your Life. There you'll find the lovely web page. If you scroll down, you can see Write a Review and I click that. And scroll down, you can pick the type of review. There's wheelchairs, scooters and attachments. Today I'm just going to do a wheelchair review. So I'll click wheelchair review and I will write a little bit about my chair. Once you've clicked all the stars and rated it how you see fit, you can upload some photos from your camera roll, pop in a couple of details and submit. Making Instagram Reels taught me that patience is definitely a virtue. I was really happy with how they came out in the end, but it definitely took me a lot of trial and error to make them exactly how I wanted them to. Reels took a lot of fine tweaking and I struggled with not being able to show Lauren and Felix. We quickly discovered that Instagram doesn't let the Reels and the draft show up on two devices. I initially really struggled to take photos of some of the products, including the chronic illness essentials. I have a giant pregnancy pillow and a heated blanket, and I had no idea how to take photos of them without them looking ridiculous. I wanted to make sure that they look professional enough for the website, but also keeping it fun. I originally wasn't happy with some of the photos. You can see the before and afters here. I asked for some constructive criticism from Felix that if you were to be looking at the photo, would you know what it was? Um, and the answer was no. So he gave me a few ideas of how I could take some better photos. I then gave myself a little bit of time to take some more photos and I was able to get some pictures that I was really happy with. Um, and so were Lauren and Felix. Tourette's makes ding ding ding. Having Tourette's makes talking on camera quite difficult, but throughout practicing and countless deleting of videos, I've managed to get to the point where I now feel confident enough to do this uh, video. During a feedback session with Lauren and Felix, they discussed how impressed they were with my ability to adapt and change when Lauren was suddenly taken into hospital. They discussed how they were impressed that I was able to use my own initiative in contacting volunteer Emma for support whilst Lauren was unwell. Throughout virtual NADAC, we had a few technical difficulties, which was met with the fact that Lauren was also in hospital. I then had to use my own professionalism initiative to create relationships with potential clients and assure them that we would be contacting them in due course. Lauren and Felix say that I have now increased my levels of professionalism throughout my placement, as well as brought a lot more business to the company, which they're eternally grateful for. I use my English language skills from my degree in order to write blog posts to the company. In my own time, I did some research into how to make the best blog post. As someone who loves doing lists, I saw that using headings and subheadings was a great way to engage the audience. Therefore, I went with this for a lot of my posts. An article I read also suggested that to engage your audience you might want to avoid using complex sentences. I therefore chose to write my blog posts in a chatty style as I tend to 
find that I get more interaction with the audience this way. The day before virtual Nadex was a very stressful one. Um, Lauren and Felix asked me to create a video last minute as we didn't realise that that was something that was going to be needed. Um, I, had to uh, I had to create a video uh, for up to about 10 minutes um, with not very much pre-warning. I managed to create a iMovie which has definitely helped to increase my confidence level with not only using iMovie but talking in front of the camera, doing voiceovers and this has definitely benefited me in bringing it back to the module to be able to do this presentation. Initially I wasn't going to do the presentation myself um, due to my Tourette's, talking on camera can be really difficult so the plan was to have uh, written slides and have someone do the voiceover for me. If it wasn't for doing replacement with Access Your Life, I don't think I'd be confident to talk on camera. Uh, doing the video for Nadex enabled me to realise that I am able to speak on camera. It might just take a little bit of practising, countless deleting videos and clipping things back together. I felt like my placement with Access Your Life couldn't have gone better and I'm really glad that I chose to find my placement myself. I felt like my placement with Access Your Life wasn't long enough, I had loads more that I wanted to give to them. My placement with Access Your Life has provided me with some amazing opportunities for the future. Lauren and Felix were so impressed with my work which is amazing to hear. Lauren and Felix were really grateful to have me help them out. We've even talked about future job opportunities post my degree. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation today.